What's up, Nintendo Gamers? Takeda here with another Super Smash Bros. Wii U and 3DS update. So, guys, this won't be a traditional update. I'm going to kind of be uh, just my thoughts right now. And what I want to talk about is actually the new screen that Sakurai revealed um, today, actually. And it shows me characters with hats and helmets. Uh, well, for the most part, helmets. And one is of Meta Knight, and the other is Samus Aran. And also note that the one with Samus Aran's helmet um, is actually using a sword and not a, a um, cannon, an arm cannon. Uh, it's not the gunner me. So it's really interesting. Does this pretty much confirm Meta Knight to be in the game? Because Samus is a confirmed character, and that me has a Samus helmet on uh, from her power suit. Um, I personally don't doubt for a second that Meta Knight is in the game. Um, I think he's going to be extremely tweaked so he won't be overpowered like he was in Brawl. He may even have a few new moves or um, just extremely nerfed compared to how he was in Brawl. But um, I have no doubt in my mind that, that um, Meta Knight is in this game. And I think for myself, this pretty much confirms he's in the game. I wouldn't be surprised if we get his reveal soon. And for one, I'm just hoping for a reveal and expecting a reveal very soon um, as far as a veteran character. So it's really nice to see that. Um, Mies, for me, are really cool in this game. Like, I love the amount of customization they have, not only in their moveset, but also in the costumes and designs they have for themselves. It's not just the whole stock, you know, it has this very plain outfit on with very plain pants and stuff. No, there's all these things into it. Now we have hats and helmets. The reason why I'm saying hats is because I'm expecting, you know, of course, Mario hats and, and stuff like that. And it's really nice to see that. Um, I know Mies are going to be kind of unbalanced i wouldn't well i wouldn't say unbalanced i would say um people will probably have uh trouble finding out how to balance them since they have so many different variations of moves because you have the you have the fighter type you have the sword type you have the gunner type and all of them have these different special attacks they can do as far as tilts and standard attacks i believe there's no way of customizing that it's their uh, special B button attacks um, that are customizable so you have to find a way to balance them but I definitely think people will find a way to use them competitively but for now you actually cannot use Mies online with randoms you can only use them um, with your friends which is understandable because some people may feel Mies are unbalanced um, and that would be whether because they are or because if they get beat by me, they think, oh, it's too good. Uh, uh, you're cheating customizable characters, too good of moves. You know, there's going to be people like that who lose and act like this character is super unbalanced because you can customize this moveset way too much. So for one, um, I, I really hope, really, really hope, um, that they do balance these characters out really nicely because i'm going to use my me like crazy like the me is like my new main because for one in every game where me is playable whether it be mario kart or anything i'm always my me in some way or i made my me in some way so it's nice to see that um so as far as other reps for the kirby series instead of just meta knight i would love to see Kirby get one more rap, just one more that I think is notable and I think people have come to love and like about Kirby. And that is Bandana D. Yes, Bandana D from Kirby's Return to Dreamland, which was one of the playable characters in multiplayer. He has a bandana, of course, a blue one, and he uses a spear, a very cool spear. He, he was the coolest character used outside of Meta Knight and Kirby himself. Like, I really loved using Bandana D. And for one, he represents his whole kind, you know, here, Bandana D. Uh, kind of like um, having Toad, you know, playable. He would represent 
well, the toads of the Mario world, even though there is one specific toad, I would have loved Captain Toad to be in Smash Bros, but I doubt that's happening, maybe na next time. But, you know, from Kirby's Return to Dreamland, they kind of uh, set this, uh, this Waddle Dee apart and kind of made him one specific Waddle Dee in a, a sea of lookalikes. So it's really nice um, to see Bandana D and I would love to see him in Super Smash Brothers. That would be nice. And you know, one thing that will be cool with that is because right now with uh, Super Smash Brothers 4, um, if you guys didn't know or notice, um, Sakurai specifically mentioned, and I, 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 I uh, you know, I um, emphasize this, he specifically, as in purposely, mentioned that King DDD does not throw Waddle Dees anymore in his moveset. He throws those little spike balls that I can't recall their names. He does not throw Waddle Dees no longer. So could that mean potentially hint at maybe Waddle D or Bandana D being a character? That'll be really cool. That'll be very interesting. I would love that. I would main that character because Kirby is actually one of my mains too. He's one of my sub mains, but um, I main him, you know, in every game so good that he's basically one of my mains, but um, I don't use him super often, but when I do, he's very fun to use um, because I just have too many mains in Super Smash Bros. games because I have to try everybody and I get attached to everybody and I learn everybody and then I get really good with everybody, not to tout my own horn or anything, but yeah. So guys, what do you think this means? Tell me that in the comments below. Do you think this means Meta Knight is confirmed? Would you like Bandana D as a newcomer for the Kirby series rep, uh, another Kirby series representative? And um, just overall thoughts on Mii's and their outfits. Do you think they'll be unbalanced in their move sets that you can select? Or do you think that they um, people will come to accept them and use them? And do you think maybe they could potentially become high tier characters or low tier? So tell me all that in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.